All right, guys, welcome back to our WX Python layout series. Here in this video, we're going to take a look at the grid sizer. Okay, in the last two videos, we did the box sizer and the static box sizer, which was its variant. Okay, so in this video, we're going to do the grid sizer, and in the next two, we're going to do the flex grid sizer and the grid bag sizer, which are two variants. Okay, and by the way, after you watch this video, I really recommend you go on and watch the other two because the variants add in extra functionality so the grid sizer is pretty cool okay but it's two variants are going to add in even more interesting functionality to it okay so you don't want to miss out without further ado let's go ahead and begin okay because i'm going to create the sizer over here and wx.grid sizer all right so let me just briefly explain a few things because this line this constructor where we create the grid sizer is really important okay now the grid sizer, as the name implies, it works off a system of rows and columns, okay? That's what a grid is. So what you need to do in the constructor is actually define the number of rows and columns. Okay, now normally I'll just type in these values normally, but for your uh, convenience, I'm going to go ahead and use the parameter names, okay? Like row is equal to 3, call is equal to 3, okay? And then there's V gap and H gap. All right, now this stands for vertical gap and this stands for horizontal gap, okay? What gap, where is this gap gonna be? It's gonna be in between the rows and columns. So it's kind of like padding in between, inside the widget, okay? Inside the sizer. So the widgets that you add within this grid sizer, they're gonna have some spacing, okay? That's good, because you, do, you don't want them all squeezed up, okay? So it's something like, uh, I'll just go with some values like five, because that works for me most of the time, okay? And yeah, uh, hopefully I did those parameter names right. And it's not rows or something, but yeah, we'll see. So yeah. Okay, now over here, I'm gonna come and add in some widgets. Okay, add in some widgets into our grid sizer. And for the start, I'll, I'll go for something simple, okay? I'm just gonna add in some text widgets, static text widgets, okay? Static text, okay? And how am I gonna do this? Parent will be stuff.panel, label will be something like Oh, text one, okay, and the parameters will be something really simple, okay, zero, zero over there, okay, and zero on the flag as well, yeah, pretty much, okay, let me just copy paste this four times, okay, because why am I doing this four times is because we have two rows and two columns, okay, so what does that mean, how many spaces do we have, we have four, okay, two rows, two columns, two multiplied by two, we get four, okay, that's a really easy way of finding out how many uh, spaces you have for your widgets. So you have 10 columns, right? So you can just 2 multiply that by 10, get 20. 20. You have space for 20 widgets inside, inside of your sizer. Okay, that's how it works. Okay, so yeah. I'm just going to keep these 0 for now and I'll show you them a bit later. Okay, and one more thing we need to do is self.panel.set sizer and put sizer in there. Okay, now see the output. Okay, I made a slight mistake there. I think it's rows. Call. And yeah, okay, that works. So this is our output. We have our four text widgets, text one, text two, text three, text four. Okay, and we can clearly see that the uh, window is kind of divided into four parts. Okay, because this is like one part. This is one part. This is one part this is one part okay so that's what the grid sizer does it kind of slices up the window into a bunch of rows and columns and which automatically creates these cells okay so things don't look very good right now honestly those texts they didn't they didn't look very good okay they're just sitting there in the top left corners of their cells that doesn't look nice okay so let me show you guys something kind of cool i'm gonna pass in a flag called align center Okay, and there are a bunch of flags like this. Okay, uh, you can either for a full list of them just go to my website. Okay, I'll leave links in the in the description below, and I'll also have links to other stuff. Like maybe you, you guys can go off and check the documentation if you want to. You can find a whole list of stuff over there. Okay, but basically this align center flag is pretty common, and you'll find it across pretty much every sizer. Okay, so just use this, and voila. Okay. And this is actually the unique thing about a sizer. You keep 
changing the window size and everything will adjust with it okay you won't find this kind of thing happening normally right if you used normal positions absolute positioning okay i talked about this in the first video so yeah this is pretty cool they look nice as well now okay especially like you know if it's small so yeah pretty good so that's a basic example done i want to move on to a second example though something which is a bit more realistic and i'm not sure if i've discussed this before but there is a function called add mini okay the add mini function is able to take in a bunch of widgets at once okay so it's kind of like one very 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 long line okay instead of using the add at the add function like 10 times you can use the add mini function just once okay but of course of course it's much more complicated so whichever one you want to use is totally up to you okay i'm just going to demonstrate how to use this okay so this is the uh parentheses for the function okay and this is a list okay because what you're basically passing in into add many is a list a list of widgets okay that you want displayed okay on the grid sizer and by the way one thing i don't think i mentioned this but i think it's pretty obvious that the order in which you place the widgets is really important okay so the first widget you add is going to appear in the zero zero uh, cell the second widget you, widget you add is going to appear in the zero one cell okay okay and then the third widget you add will appear in the one zero cell okay the first row and column zero one okay so you kind of need to pay attention to this kind of thing okay so yeah let's increase the rows and columns to three because i want to i kind of want to make a keypad over here okay a keypad with nine keys from one to nine so i need nine cells okay so enough talk let's go ahead and do this wx but button okay self dot panel is the parent label can be one okay and flags can be zero and wx dot expand okay why wx dot expand you'll understand very soon okay and yeah pretty much okay let's keep doing this keep doing this keep doing this until we get nine of them i think we have nine so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. Okay. And now let's go ahead and run this. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Okay. We have a little keypad here now. And this looks this looks pretty nice, if I may say so myself. Okay. Especially when it's squared. It looks it looks better when it's squared, okay, not when it's kinda of dragged out. Or maybe that's that's up to your preference. So yeah, pretty cool. Now, the thing is, why are they so big? Like, buttons don't normally look this big, do they? Like, uh, if I remove the wx.expand flag, what do we get? That's what a regular button looks like. wx.expand, what it does is that it expands the widget, okay? It allows it to take up the surrounding space. So, yeah, you might want to activate this like I have right now, okay? But other, other than this, there's one thing I want to mention. We added it in the vertical vertical gap and the horizontal gap, right? But why don't we notice any uh, distance between the button and the edge of the window? Well, that's because the edge gap and the V gap only applies to within the sizer, okay? Within the widgets, okay? If you want to create some padding in between the buttons and the window, what you need to do is what I'm doing right now. Wrapper is equal to wx.box sizer, wx.vertical, okay? Come down here and wrapper dot add and put in the sizer in here and put in a wrapper over here so basically what did I, what did I just do I made a box sizer okay I set it to the panel as this as the main sizer then I put our grid sizer into the wrapper into the box sizer so if I run this now what do I get I get this okay well of course that's because I'm not done yet what I want to do first is add in a bunch of parameters. First of all, the reason why the buttons are appearing in their default size is because even though wx.expand is added in over here, it's not added in over here. Okay, so sizer is basically just like a widget in the wrapper, okay, in our box sizer wrapper, okay. So we need to actually enable wx.expand on this as well, 
okay otherwise it won't work uh, well yeah that things are gonna appear like that kind of because I need to add in the proportion I guess to one yeah there we go okay so proportion kind of needs to be one okay proportion is uh, a parameter over here let me just explicitly mention all of these this is flag okay and I'm, I'm gonna add in border very soon okay so let's just leave that to zero right now but proportion basically kind of defines how much something really changes okay zero means it won't really change one means that it will change one and above means that it will change okay and yeah this is a bit complicated okay proportion is a bit complicated i've discussed this in the box sizer video okay and i might discuss this later on in the next video in the flex grid sizer video but not now okay because uh it's not very relevant right now so yeah the thing is that i want to add in some padding now right because there's still no padding in between the buttons and the window and the key to that lies over here okay and wx dot all because i want padding to be on all sides and there we go we now have padding in between the buttons and the window if i increase this to 10 i think we'll see the effect even better yep it looks better okay let me just make the, it a bit more square yeah it looks nice so yeah we're pretty much done here there's much more to discuss okay so yeah in the next video, we'll take a look at the Flex Grid Sizer, so be sure to check that out, okay? Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content, and hopefully I'll see you guys in one of my later videos. So yeah, later.